Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads, and ladies and gentlemen, it's time to embark on a journey that I have been planning for a long, long time. Yes, today we start the project of making cast aluminum skate trucks at home. I'm doing it, for real, and I have a plan. And the first thing that plan requires is a design. And any good design requires testing and iteration and prototyping. So let's design a custom truck geometry and then use 3D printed prototypes to see if it works. Let's go. Just like for the other components that I've made at home, if this project works out, I want to release the designs open source, which means I actually have to design my own truck geometry. I can't copy an existing truck one-to-one. -one. Doing that would violate intellectual property rights and would mean that I couldn't release it for free. Having a digital design will also be helpful down the road when I need to design parting lines and such for the molds I'm going to cast the trucks in. So I grabbed a set of calipers and cracked open Fusion 360 to see what I could come up with. My trucks are based off of a combination of Ace and Indies with a taste, just a, a sous-son, of influence from the Randall R2s. It took a couple attempts, but I finally came up with a truck that looked good and wasn't making Fusion angrily crash every time I changed something. And with that, I could take a stab at bringing them into the real world. I had someone who works at a foundry in the industry reach out and they gave me a very good piece of advice, which was this. Get your geometry dialed in before even thinking about casting in metal. Seems like a good plan to me, so I 3D printed a set of trucks on my artillery sidewinder. There are many different designs for printed trucks out there, and I want to be clear that this is not one of them. This design is meant to be cast out of aluminum, and even printed solid like this, these trucks are weak and will probably break. And since they only need to survive long enough for me to learn whether or not they work, I printed mine just out of PLA. So they're almost certainly going to break. But that's not about to stop me. I pulled my parts off the printer and the base plates were good to go, but the hangers required a little cleanup. They came out pretty messy, but I oriented the prints in the way that I did so that the layer lines would run through the pivot of the truck and through the bushing seat. This is what I think will be the weakest part of the truck facing the most stresses, so I wanted to ensure that I gave it as much strength as possible. Next, I need an axle, and this was probably the most frustrating part of the whole project. I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to use threaded rod or custom order hardened steel parts, but it turns out there is a wealth of esoteric hardware out there if you only know the right name to look for. These are M8 Black Oxide Steel Setup Studs. Bit of a tongue twister. That I got from McMaster Car. They cost about three bucks fifty each and are about as close as you can get to off-the-shelf hardened skateboard axles. From the research I did, it seems like they're about comparable to a grade 5 bolt, which isn't ideal. Grade 8 would be better, but it should be good enough for rock and roll. I guess we'll just have to find out. I don't remember who tipped me off about these, but finding axles to use is what put me in a position to finally tackle this project. So whoever you are, thank you so much. For the final trucks, these will be cast in place, but for my printed trucks, I can seat them in the hangar by using a drill to screw them in. And then my printed trucks go together the same way as any other set of trucks out there. The pivot cups I cannibalized from a different set of trucks. The kingpin is a grade 8 bolt from the hardware store. The yellow barrel bushings are ones that I cast, and the black cones are Kiro's. And there they are! They're looking pretty good! They're a smidge lower than my aces. A little less bulky than my indies. But otherwise, they look like totally legit trucks. And since I'm pretty worried about how these are going to hold up, I set them up with my softest set of street wheels, a set of 78A Richta clouds, and a super soft pair of generic risers. Hopefully this will help with some shock absorption and keep the trucks running longer. I mounted them on the street deck that I pressed with my open source 3D printed molds. And then there was nothing left to do but test them out. For testing, there were only two things I wanted to know. Do they turn? And how do they snap for ollies? 
Now, because the base plates are plastic, I didn't tighten the kingpin too much. So in addition to being super nervous about riding trucks that probably aren't structurally sound, I also wound up riding trucks that are much, much more loose than I am comfortable with. So I was pretty freaked out. Let's get this over with. I don't know about this, man. So they turn. How about snap? <sighs> oh, they didn't break on me. I didn't die. That's good. Good enough for me, this is a working truck geometry. They lean, they turn, and guys, if I can ollie these, especially on a setup that I'm so uncomfortable with, anybody can. And there we have it. The first step in my journey to cash trucks at home, my geometry, is complete. With these designs, I can make bucks to cast my aluminum trucks. There's just one teeny tiny itty bitty problem that I have to address first. I have to actually learn how to cast aluminum. Yep. Don't know how to cast aluminum. Aside from some little pewter coins as a kid, I've never done any metal casting at all. But when it's time to learn a new craft, it's time to learn a new craft. So that's what I'm going to do next, cutting my teeth on some aluminum green sand casting, making myself some casting tools. And if that all goes well, it's onto the trucks. So if you want to see that and all the other awesome DIY board sport projects we do here on the channel, you're just going to have to go ahead and subscribe. If you got questions or comments, leave them down below. Huge shout out, as always, to the people who chip in over on Patreon. It's your support that keeps the channel afloat. If you'd like to pitch in, there'll be a link down below. That's going to be it for this week. I love having you guys along for the ride. So until next time, I'll see you soon. And I can't wait on this one, guys. I'm, this is very exciting. Caw, caw. Uh, he's just, you know, being supportive. He's my little cheerleader crow. Blue Jay? Cheerleader Blue Jay? It sounds like a Blue Jay.